hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error code that is 186001s unknown error or if you're receiving connection failed error code is same 186001s so the first step is to log out and log in from e app so if you have the game on e app you can go to e app and then you can log out sign out and then again sign in and then check if that does not work, disconnect any kind of USB devices connected to your computer. Like if you have USB flash drive, thumb drive, if you have external keyboard or mouse connected, disconnected. If you have any dongle connected, disconnected. If you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter, disconnected. Disconnect headphone, launch the game, and then you can connect the headphone and then check. Next step is to restart the game multiple times. So multiple times, uh, this has worked for many players. So it may take multiple attempts uh, and you should be able to get rid of the error. But still you are receiving there. The next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to set DNS to auto. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to network and internet. And then if you have the Wi-Fi, click on Wi-Fi. If you have the Ethernet cable, click on Ethernet cable. And then select your network. or And then over here, you can click on dns server assignment edit and over here set it to automatic that is thcp and then click on save and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to try google dns server now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to network and internet network and sharing center and then click on your internet over here and then go to properties and then over here, select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4, and then click on Properties. And the, over here, use following DNS server. Select this one. Use the following DNS server addresses, and then type in 8888, and then type in 8844, and then validate settings upon exit. Click on OK. Close this. And then you can, once done, now you can relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, click on your internet once again, go to properties. And this time you can type uh, select internet protocol versions for properties. Again, this time, this time you can type in one, 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 one. And then it's one, zero, zero, one. And yeah, it's a cloud flare. DNS server, you can try this, this one, and then validate settings upon exit, click on OK, and then close this. So even using the Cloudflare DNS, Cloudflare app has also worked for many players. So if you can, you can install this Cloudflare app and you can toggle it on and then relaunch the game. This has also worked for many players. Now it's still not working. Uh, you can uncheck this ipv6 so again same location click on your internet and then go to properties select internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 if this is checked you can uncheck this and then click on ok and then you can launch the game again and then check once you are done playing the game you can put a check once again once you are done playing the game you can do that now it's still not working. Like if you're using any kind of a manual DNS server like Google or Cloudflare, in that case, you can select Internet Protocol version 4 once again and you can switch to automatic if it is not working. Now, still not working. The next step is to uninstall anything related to Riot Games or Vanguard. So sometimes you have Riot Vanguard. See, exit Vanguard. Click yes if you have this. Right client open, you can close it and you can even uninstall these two and then restart your computer and then check. Next, next step is to switch to different networks. So if you have any other network available, you can switch to different network and then you can check. Now you can even use phone hotspot. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can connect to your phone phone network over here you will see your phone network you can connect to your phone network and then check 
next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder select this exe file click on open again add an allowed app browser apps select the second exe file click on open and then again browser apps open this sp folder battlefield 6 folder uh, exe file and then click on open and browser open. check if there are any other exes file yeah now go back and this time open ea anti-cheat select this one and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder once again and then open select all the exe file in my case it is already added once added you know put a check on uh, both private and public for battlefield 6 ex exe's file again allow another app click on browse open this um, sorry add this ea anti-cheat game service launcher also click on add in my case it is already added again you can type in you can make sure both private and public is checked for ea javelin anti-cheat now click on allow another app browse sp battlefield 6 add again in my case it is already added so once uh, you have all the exes file added make sure both private and public is checked and then you can relaunch the game now if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have do the same thing with the, all the three exe file next step is to turn off or turn on vpn now for many users using vpn has worked so you can do that if the vpn is already on you can turn it off and then you can close the vpn and then check next step is to steam users open ea app before launching the game so if you have the game on steam uh, you can just keep ea app running in the background and then you can relaunch the game if you already have the ea app running and still you are facing problem you can exit ea app and then check let me i have the game only on the app now the next step is to perform power cycle for this shutdown computer unplug the power cable from the computer turn off wi-fi router wait for a few seconds restart wi-fi router connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart the computer and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this you can go to the game installation folder and then so go to the game installation folder and then try to run the game as an administrator make a right click properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try to run this ea anti-cheat game service launcher as an administrator and then check if that does not work open this sp folder select battlefield 6 make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check still not working uh, the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and then copy all the command one by one over here paste it over here hit the enter key run all the commands Now, once you run all the command, now restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Still not working, use Ethernet connection. You can go for wired connection. So if, you're, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, go for the wired connection and then check. Next is to make sure date, time, time zone, and region is correct in your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it off. Also set time auto automatically. If this is off, turn it on. And then at the bottom here, you can see sync now option. Make sure that you click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any kind of error in your red color, click on sync now multiple times. Once you see the tick over here, now go back to Tamil language, language and region, and make sure 
your country is selected over here and then restart the game next is to create a new windows admin account now for this you can open windows settings go to accounts and then go to other users and then click on add account you can create a username over here so click on i don't have this person's signing information click over here and then click on add a user without a microsoft account you can name it whatever you want this is just an example and then if you want password enter the password if you don't want it click on next once the new account is created click on it click on change account type set this to administrator click on ok now log into this account so you can log out from the computer or lock and then log in to the new account which you've created and then install the game and then relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to install the game to external drive so if the game is installed to like internal drive the c drive you can uninstall the game and then you can install the game to maybe d drive or e drive and then check if the game is already installed to external drive try installing the game to internal drive that is c drive and then check next step is to verify and repair the game files now for this you can go to steam or e app and then click on manage and then click on repair if you have the game on steam you can make a right click on the game and then go to properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check i don't have the game on steam now this is the last step um, this has worked for many players so if nothing works it this can work from get in touch with uh, let me show you how to verify the game file on steam so if you have the game on steam make a right click go to properties and then go to install files tab and then go to verify integrity of game files now get in touch with ea advisor so you can uh, go to like ea help uh, you can type in ea help in windows search box and then you can go to ea, EA customer support uh, ea customer support and just uh, try to contact uh, ea customer support you can you can you know, search you can just write down uh, what whatever issue you are facing you can write it down and just follow uh, follow the instruction and you might get a person to you know chat so con get in touch with e advisor and for many steam users e advisor not you the e advisor may help you has helped players by unlinking the steam unlinking the steam account with e account now before you do not do this yourself and then uh, because i'll tell you what will happen if you do it yourself so e advisors helped players by unlinking steam account with e account change up steam profile name and then e account name and then relinking steam to relinking steam account to e account has worked this is what the e advisor has done and steam i think the steam one has um, player must have done but the relinking and linking to the ea account is done by ea advisor and this has worked do not do it yourself because once you unlink a platform account from ea account and link it, link it to a new one you can't unlink it again for 6 month also you will permanently lose access to game progress dlc expansion and anything extra you have for your game membership and subscription previous drops other rewards in game purchases etc so you can get the detailed information on the ea website what will happen when you unlink uh, from ea account so you can go through the details everything is provided over here so you can contact ea advisor ea support and let them do this for you you can explain the issue and they might help you with this and that should this has worked for many players so it might work for you so so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix these error. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.